Hi everyone, it's Kim with cardcreationsbykim.com. Um, I am going to make a real easy happy birthday card for a female. Um, I'm going to call this my patchwork card. Now the materials that I've used, um, I just actually went through some scraps. These, This is Kay and Company paper, but I don't remember what paper pad that it came in. Um, and it's got uh, flowers on the back and I'm going to use that side. And then um, I did a previous video um, making this card here and I wanted to use the back side of this paper. Um, but I'm also going to use uh, this. So I'm using the front and the back. Um, I'm going to be using twine from Peapod. Uh, I got that on my local um, scrapbooking store. I'm going to be using a pink button that I put the twine through at, at a crisscross. Um, white gel pen and a pink zig. And then a happy birthday stamp, um, which if you watch my other videos, you know that um, I made the mistake of taking all my stamps off of, out of its original packaging and putting it in a binder because now I don't know what where I got the stamps from. Um, and then I also discovered uh, watching a YouTube video, and I apologize if the person who introduced this um, is watching my video, but I, I don't remember who she was, but I saw this um, easy stitch that she used, <clears throat> and I thought, you know, how awesome is this? So I got this, and it's got all kinds of different types of, if you can really see it, um, stitching. I'm grabbing a black piece of paper here so I can put it behind there. Um, um, stitching stitches that you can use. And um, I got this one as well. Of course, you know, I can't just buy one. i got to buy two. But you can make leaves with it. Um, swirlies. This is great for a scrapbooking page. Um, now, the name brand of this one is TCW. And... Um, the name brand of this one here is Easy Stitches, and I got both of them from an online store called Stuff for Scrapbooking, so if you're interested in that. Alright, uh, let's get started. First thing I did was I cut out my card base in um, the, uh, oh, I'm going to say like a khaki. Um, I got this at uh, Joann's. And I cut it out at five and a half by four and a quarter, and it's going to be sitting up like that. Um, then I took a piece of white cardstock, which I got this paper from uh, Walmart, and it's just color book they call it, or co yeah, color book, and it's got a little bit of texture to it. So let's go ahead and hear that down. Always a challenge for me to get these on straight. We'll do the best we can. Over just a little more. Okay. And then for my, um, I want to put my happy birthday stamp on. And I'm going to go ahead and use my very favorite Memento Black Tuxedo. And I'm going to put that right up here in the middle as much as I can. Ta-da! And I will wash this off later. Um, and then as far as the squares go, I cut them at two by one and three quarters so that it could actually fit on the card. Just let me do a quick layout of how I want these to go. And I incorporated the Happy Birthday in Black because it's got a little bit of black in it. You know, I, I considered using a black base, but it kind of changed the mood of the card um, as far as it being like a Happy Birthday card. It was kind of dark. <laughs> Alright, now I'm not going to push down hard on this because... I'm still making sure that 
we're going to get them all even. It's like putting a puzzle piece together, isn't it? And we want them straight and not too far over to the side. Oops, oh, I dropped it. And then it's kind of white on white, but I should have inked that. That would have been pretty. Maybe my next one I'll ink it. What do I have here? Yeah, I think I like that one. Okay. And line this one up. And line this one up. Oh, there goes my other miniature schnauzer. Somebody's out front with their dog, maybe. Okay, now I'm going to put my stitching on, and I'm going to choose uh, this one here. Because my button has a square stitch. So, And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do white stitching across that one, and then I'm going to switch over and do pink. Well, maybe I'll do white all, all across it. Just line it up. I'm going to, oops, hey, what happened there? I've never done that before. Shake this a little because I'm running low on it. Try to get it even. So it's got this little line here, so I can use that as my guide. And I'll pull it down there. And here we go. Go straight across. Now, I have in the past been doing this by hand. <clears throat> Excuse me. Little Froggy jumped in there. Um, stitching by hand, which has been fine. Um, but then I saw this and I thought, hmm be more accurate. And we'll continue. Let's switch over and do a pink one here. I don't know if I'm going to like that, but oops. just because white on white. Oh, I fell asleep there. Okay, there we go. Let's see, I think we're good for all the other ones. So we have our stitching. <clears throat> and then let's put our pens, lids back on our pens. And then um, we have a little button here that I crisscrossed the um, twine. And I'm going to put that button right in the middle of there. Okay, again, I think next time I would probably, I need, need to move this over a little. I'm not sure why that came out uneven, but um, I can adjust that. Um, next time I would ink this with some pink so that it stood out more. Maybe I can take it off. Yay! I can take it off. Get my templates to stress. Yeah, I think I'd be happier if it was inked a little. just seems to blend in too much. Alrighty. I'm only going to need to do... I've already got adhesive on the back of it, so yeah, just a little bit. Not too much. Okay. Try and squeeze this under the button. And to also fill in that white line that I did not like. There we go. Alrighty, you know, I think it would be so cute to put a little, sorry about that, a little butterfly on this. Let's use this. This is um, Butterfly Punch from Ionic. And what's really fun to do with this, oh, I was way off, I better look and see. Card making blooper. 
Okay, got that. And then I can use this as well, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Clean that out a little. Get that in there. Okay, now try to get that out even as possible. Okay, and then I get my pink one. So you have a base for the butterfly, and then you have um, the actual wings, which just kind of fold up like this. I might do. Hmm, not sure. Let's do pink here and green here. Yeah. All right. Let's get. Uh, oh gosh, what's handy here? Let's get some some Tombow glue. Shake it down a little bit. Oops. We're gonna go ahead and glue this flat to the card because it's gonna be our base. Really, this paper is so versatile because you can use the front or the or the back or whatever. And then, um, yeah, let's put her right there. A little bit too much glue. I don't want to push down too hard on that. But I do want to move it over a little. And I'm going to come in with um, this wipe here. Kind of touch it up because the glue will dry sort of shiny. I'm not sure if that would look right. Okay, then I'm going to take the other butterfly, fold her up, but this time I'm only going to put the glue on the body. And um, what would be cute is go back in with some stickles. Like so. And um, I think I might have a strip of pink pearl bling. Pardon the scratching noise. Uh, yeah, that might do. Actually, I'm looking for a pink pearl bling. Oh, this is even better. And I'm going to put that right down there. The lighter so it's subtle. Pull that up. And I'm going to say that right there. Right down the middle. Oh, so cute. Look at that. Alrighty. There's a little happy birthday card. Um, if you want the additional information on it, you can go to my blog at cardcreationsbykim.blogspot.com um, or you can send me an email at kimdavenport at cardcreationsbykim.com um, and you'll see this on my website also, um, cardcreationsbykim.com um, Alright, I hope you enjoy and have a sunshiny day. Bye-bye.